Welcome to another episode of GeekOutdoors.com. So Baki, Season 3, the Retai Tournament is finally here. And it's the follow-up to the past two seasons of Baki. And so in Season 3, we get the continuation of Baki now joining the Retai Tournament in China. And he's badly injured from Season 2. And so he's really not at full strength. But in Season 3, we actually get more characters, a completely different tournament, and a lot of returning characters as well. And we also see a progression, not only of Baki, but mainly some other characters surrounding him. And so this is like the general story of Season 3. So getting into the things that I did enjoy about this season is the overall story. Because unlike Season 2, where it's mainly focused on this one type of story, one main story, in Season 3, it's kind of like three different stories into one. You know, you have the Retai Tournament. Uh, you have kind of like... A Baki's change and progression but you also have another story uh, with Muhammad Ali Jr. that kind of goes in parallel with Baki's story and also you finally get the story of Jurai and Baki so mainly it's almost four stories and so all of these stories even though they're separate they're all connected and one thing that I did enjoy about season three that I did better than season two is that they still went back to what happened in season one, specifically the seven uh, death row inmates, you know, the deadly fighters, and how they didn't forget about all the events that happened in season one. And sometimes in anime, as the seasons go along, they'll forget about what happened before. And so there is a problem with continuity. But within season three, they kept that. So I really did like it. And then the second thing I absolutely enjoyed about the series is the overall action. It's still extremely brutal. It's violent. And at the same time, because it's like in different settings and different stories, the battles kind of change up. You know, even though the format's very similar, I like the fact that they were fighting in different environments. And at the same time, you get a lot of battles that you didn't expect to get. You know, let's just say that whenever you're watching later episodes. And then the final thing that I enjoyed about season three was the overall characters. From season one, I really did enjoy that with the seven uh, deadly inmate fighters, the underground fighters. Season two was kind of boring to me in a lot of ways because the characters weren't as interesting. But season three introduces new characters. It brings back old characters and you kind of grow to really enjoy these characters throughout these entire series. For serious YouTubers, check out TubeBuddy, the premier tool news at geekoutdoors.com. Get more done today by checking out the affiliate link in the description area below. So now getting to the things that I did not like as much about Baki 3 is the overall animation style. Now this is something that really started going downwards with season 2 where the quality of the animation definitely was not as good as season 1. And then season 3 we get a lot of that same type of season 2 animation at least for most of season 3. However, near the end of the season with the later episodes, the animation looks a lot more like season one, which is a good thing. But the overall animation style, I just didn't really enjoy it as much. And then the second thing that I didn't like as much, and maybe some people would like it, is you know there is another story, specifically with Muhammad Ali Jr. And they use his story to kind of tell Baki's story, if that makes sense. And if you remember from season one and season two, even though it's named Baki Hanma, and with his dad, Jirai Hanma, it's really not about them. You know, they are important to the story, but it's mostly about all these other characters. So if you did not enjoy the fact that most of it wasn't centered around the main character and his story, then you're probably not going to get much more out of here. Even though it does show some progression and some more of his story, it just doesn't spend as much time there as you would think. And so those are my thoughts on Baki Season 3. I really do feel that out of all the three seasons, this one is actually the best. You know, the overall story, the characters, and some of the progression and arcs that they've made. And so if you did enjoy Baki Season 1 or Season 2 or any of these fighting style anime, I really will think that you will get more out of Season 3 than you did out of Season 2. And if you did enjoy Season 1, definitely watch Season 3. So those are my thoughts on Baki Season 3. If you've seen it, if you actually had any thoughts on it, be sure to leave that in the comments area below. And if you did want to see more of my anime reviews, I do have a playlist. I'll leave that in the description area as well. So as always, if you did get value out of these videos, be sure to share, like, and subscribe. Hey geeks, if you are a creative geek like me, and you wanted to learn how to create content on YouTube and other places on the internet, then check out my Go Content Creators Group, where you'll get access to additional videos and content for all the creative geeks out there. And the best part of it is, all of this is 
free. Simply head over to the link below, check out my page, and sign up for my Go Content Creators Group. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the other side.